Yo, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanjinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go discussion video. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the Scorching Steps event that Niantic announced a couple of days ago. And initially, I wanted to make a video about this event going over all the details and talking about the various things that you should look forward to. But I had a really hard time getting excited for this event. And the reason for that is because this event is going to require a ton of egg hatching. Yes, it is an egg hatching themed event. And I absolutely despise those because not only do you not get any special spawns or shinies through non-egg hatching means, but it's incredibly tedious and it's incredibly expensive to hatch a whole bunch of eggs in order to get the special shiny. And I really feel like this is just one of those events where Niantic is baiting you to spend money on incubators. I really do not like the format of having eggs be the main focus of an event because when it comes to in-game events, it should be all about the wild spawns. It should all be about getting a certain shiny. And also there should be bonuses that give you extra stuff when you go out and play Pokemon Go. But if you make it all about egg hatching, you're going to be discriminating against a whole bunch of players who choose not to spend money on incubators or for people who just simply cannot go out and play extended periods of time. Because when it comes to egg hatching, it requires a whole lot of walking. And that is something that a lot of players just simply do not want to do. And on top of that, they are actually baiting us quite hard this time around because this is going to see the debut of Shiny Larvesta. I know for sure that that is going to be one Shiny that a whole bunch of players are going to want in their collection, but the fact that you could only obtain it mainly through this event because it's probably going to give you the best Shiny odds, and because you need to hatch a whole bunch of eggs, I think that's going to be incredibly disappointing for so many players. Personally speaking, I feel like this event would have gone a lot better with the Pokemon Go community if they did something special, like have Larvestas be able to spawn in the wild for the very first time. Or maybe they could have had Larvesta in field research tasks. But regardless, I really do not like the fact that the only way you could pick up Larvesta, a very highly sought after Pokemon, is only through egg hatching. I think that's very poorly designed and it's something that I really wish Niantic would reconsider when it comes to how you could obtain this Pokemon. because. Yeah, a lot of players out there want Larvesta, and if you look online, if you look on social media, if you talk to people within your local communities, a lot of people do not have Larvesta specifically because it's always tied behind eggs. And when it is tied behind eggs, it usually has a very poor hatch rate. So. Yeah, this is very bad. It's a very bad look on Niantic. I really feel like when it comes to in-game events, they've seen such a drastic decline over the past few years, and it's really because instead of giving players more bonuses and more special spawns, Niantic instead are diminishing the value of these events. They're giving you way less bonuses that actually matter, and they're doing little things like this, where they're making the primary Pokemon, the most highlighted Pokemon of the event, only obtainable from hatching eggs. That's just something that I don't think any player would have asked for. Now, I know there's going to be a bunch of you saying in the comments that I'm just being negative for the sake of being negative, but if you take a step back and actually look at this event compared to events we've had in the past, it really is something that is a bit of a downgrade for any Pokemon Go player. In the past, yes, we've had egg hatching themed events, but we still had really good wild spawns and a lot of bonuses for hatching eggs, but this time around it just seems like they're giving us the bare minimum. And of course, you did not ever see a case where you would have the special event wild spawn only locked behind eggs. You would also see it in the wild, but also had the option of getting it from eggs. And I felt like that worked out so much better than what we are currently getting because yeah, the big highlight is of course going to be shiny Larvesta. And I'm incredibly disappointed that the only way you could get it is essentially from hatching eggs. And even then you're probably not gonna get it because of the low hatch rate. So. Yeah, Niantic, I'm really disappointed. I really felt like this event could have been a lot better. And in general, your in-game events have seen drastic declines. Like, I really felt like in the last month, you guys were experimenting with a lot of different things and it was actually somewhat exciting because I felt like it was you guys showing the intention that you wanted to see in-game events improve, but this is a huge step down. And I really do wish that Niantic would listen to the community a lot more because when it comes to the community, they're speaking out against this. A lot of people are very unhappy about this event, and rightfully so, because like I said repeatedly in this video, I do not like that Larvesta is locked behind eggs. I really felt like they could have done something more. I mean, right now we're in the middle of what I consider the best time to play Pokemon Go, namely during Pokemon Go Fest, 
And they have this very crummy event in the middle of all of it. I really wish they could have put a lot more thought into this event because I really think this is going to be a very big stain on what should be a really good summer. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming right now because of Pokemon Go Fest. We have fusions, we have Necrozma, and of course the two fusions for Necrozma are now considered some of the best Pokemon and must get Pokemon, which we really haven't had in Pokemon Go in a long time. And I really feel like that should be the focus. All of the in-game events should be themed around these fusions because that should be the buzz that Niantic should be building right now. That should be the momentum that they should be riding. But instead of doing that, they're coming up with these really bad events. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. I really was having high hopes for this event, but it is what it is. There are still some decent wild spawns. There's some decent Pokemon you could potentially get from those eggs. And they are boosting the shiny rate from some of the Pokemon that you can get from eggs. But like I said, I really am not a fan of egg etching events. I feel like they should not be a part of Pokemon Go. And ultimately, when it comes to the game, they need to come up with better events. They need to come up with better bonuses and make every event better than the events from the previous year, which they haven't been doing for a very long time. But yeah, in any case, that's going to be it for this video. I just kind of wanted to rant about this event. I know that when it comes to my YouTube channel, a lot of you do not like the fact that I can be very negative, but I still think it's important that we talk about these issues and actually put a light on them because Niantic needs to hear from the community that people are not happy about some of their decisions. And hopefully they will make better decisions in the future, but it is what it is. They have a pretty bad track record with that. But I'm just hoping that Niantic makes some positive changes because ever since they nerfed remote raids last year, I feel like the sentiment around Pokemon Go has been so direly bad that Niantic really needs to create some positivity. I think the best way they could do that is by just giving players more of what they want. But unfortunately, they haven't been doing that, so it is what it is. But let me know your thoughts regarding everything that I talked about. What do you think about this Scorching Steps event? Do you think I'm kind of overstepping here? Do you think this event is actually pretty good? I would like to know why, because yeah, I really can't see anything good about this event other than, yeah, it's going to be the debut of Shiny Larvesta, if anything. But, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Everyone has their own opinions, but I would like to know yours. Let's have a great discussion in the comments. Yeah. But yeah, with that said, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. If you ended up enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And also don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I wanna give a quick shout out to every single patron on my Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you wanna support the content of the channel, the absolute best way you could do so is by becoming a Patreon member. And when you do, you get a permanent spot on my in-game Pokemon Go friends list. So when it comes to remote raids or the friendship system, if you want to play Pokemon Go with me, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon. And if you want to support my channel in a different way, you can do so by following me on social media. My handle is at Conjinsula. I'm on the platforms that you see on screen. Make sure you go over there and give me a follow. And that's going to be it for this video. I'm Conjinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I will catch you all later.